Hello guys and welcome to another video on this channel. Today is a little bit different video, kind of coming from a sad story. Uh, I was subfoiling the other day and while getting out of the water a wave caught me and I smashed my boards into the rocks. Um, Tenerife is not very forgiving in that way that most beaches for uh, good waves, let's put it that way, are quite hard accessible and you get in over rocks, over lava reefs and uh, so on. So yeah, the board suffered uh, a little bit and the repair guys in between Christmas, they don't really work here. So I want to get out on the water as fast as possible with this thing. Hence, I'm gonna do the repair myself. And I thought it would be a good way to show you guys how to repair a composite board of any sort uh, by yourself. Um, so yeah, this is a good, good, um, glass laminate, I believe, fiberglass is used in uh, the making of this board. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much very similar to a lot of other windsurfing boards, kite surfing boards, surfboards and so on. So basically, in this method you can fix any composite board, um, as far as I know. FYI, I'm not a professional repair guy, but uh, being a windsurfer, I've crashed a lot of times and had to repair my own boards a lot of times. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing it this repair, how I always do repair for my boards when I need it, them done quickly and uh, sturdily. Uh, as you can see, right here, um, there are quite a few cracks and I'm not sure how far they go. So, first job is to sand down and reveal the actual extent of the damage. If you have flat surfaces to sand down, instead of just using your hand and sandpaper, I recommend getting some sort of a flat, strong object, like this piece of wood, and then using that to help you sand down. You can apply more pressure and get the job done faster. Okay guys, so as you can see, I sanded it down the sides here. As you can see, there is a crack going through the middle. And it continues a little bit to the right side. But, but basically what I wanted to do is to sand to each side of that crack to make sure that it doesn't go further along into this area or right here into here. So I decided that I'm just gonna put one or maybe two layers of fiberglass with epoxy on top around all this corner. It might be hard to cut a correct size of fiberglass piece straight away, so a good trick is to use a paper to do the first cuts and to refine the shape that you really need uh, for the fiberglass and then put it on top of fiberglass and cut around it. some electric tape to um, basically separate the area where I need epoxy and uh, the fiberglass to the area which is clean already and it's not broken it doesn't need any uh, fiberglass on or epoxy so I'm just gonna make sure none of uh, epoxy accidentally drips onto that part so that we keep the rest of the board nice clean and good looking <laughs> For epoxy I'm using this two component Russian made epoxy that I found at a local hardware store in Lithuania. I'm sure you can find uh, something like this at your uh, local hardware store as well. As you can see it comes in syringes already and it's graded and I need to mix it one to one ratio so it's pretty simple and easy. And then I'm using a big bottle cap as a container to mix everything in and then I'll use uh, this brush, small painting brush to mix it and then
Good morning guys, the knife has passed, the epoxy has now hardened and so let's check out how everything looks right now. Everything looks kind of nice and smooth here except this corner part which is, um, yeah, as I said I hate uh, laminating corners with uh, fiberglass and epoxy I never seem to get them right I'm sure there are people who can explain it how to do much better than I but yeah so basically I'll send uh, this corner off see if there is at least one layer of fiberglass that's nice and secure on the board and uh, then yeah check everything else smoothing it out I'm not gonna take off the tape yet so that when I'm sanding I'm not damaging the paint around uh, around the fixing area I'm gonna put a second layer on over this whole area here more on the bottom rather than on the side and on the top the side and the top look really nice uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna put a second layer to make sure it's really stiff it's uh, really secure Thing is done now I need to wait for it to harden once again and yeah uh, for the hardening process just uh, keep in mind in what direction the board is tilted uh, so right now if I leave it like this all the epoxy will slowly kind of drift off and run off to this side and down um, which I am not I haven't covered that part well and I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna flip the board to put it horizontally so the epoxy doesn't drip off and stays where it's supposed to be. The epoxy second layer has hardened. Um, but fiberglass and uh, epoxies are kind of hard to get a smooth surface transition out so if you have two different levels at least for me I'm not very experienced it's hard to get it smoothly over from the repair zone into the board zone which was not repaired uh, so I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, filler for that the board um, with the filler it is nice and smooth I hope you picked up some tips and tricks as I said I'm not a professional repair guy uh, but this kind of method has been working for me for the past few years you know uh, when you're going around sometimes you break the board in the mo moments that you least expect and you don't have anyone else but yourself to fix the board so it's very useful to know uh, how to fix the board yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, that was useful to you and see you in the next video. Ciao!